video right quick. Um, hopefully you don't run into any technical issues like when I first shot this video. But I just want to talk about people being overly politically correct and just the fact that there is a difference between being uh, critical of a certain religious text and being a bigot. First of all, I don't consider myself a bigot or have the term, like let's say Islam, like there's a lot of stuff in the news about Islam, being Islamophobic. I'm not Islamophobic, I have, you know, I'm not scared of Islamic people, I have nothing against Muslims. I'm just critical of the Muslim faith. I'm critical of the Islamic faith. Now, some people, you know, some people say, well, you're criticizing Islam. You're a racist. Well, scratch, the, first off, you know, Islam's not a race. It's a religion. It's a religious belief. I could be Islam. I could be a Muslim if I wanted to convert. You know, and everyone wants to throw the argument, well, there are some good Muslims. Well, there are good Muslims. There are plenty of good Muslims out there. Hell, I mean... My dad knows this guy who is Muslim, and he's a very nice man, and, you know, helped him out and stuff. Good, you know, nice guy. But, the Quran, I have the right to criticize it. They have the, you know, you have the right to, if you want to be a Muslim, Christian, whatever, you have the right to do that. But I have the right to criticize that particular religious doctrine and that particular religious text. Some people say, why, do you, why don't you criticize Christianity as much as if you criticize um, Islam? Well, the thing is, there are, I'm very critical of the Catholic Church, you know, I'm critical of what a lot of other churches do around, um, you know, the cities I live, because I do feel like they don't really have the peace and love message, you know, of Jesus. That being said, what really made me want to do this video is I was watching some video up on YouTube, it was a Bill Maher thing. And Bill Maher was saying that they were that they're doing a story that somebody from some news organization it might have been was it it might have been like Fox or CNBC or something was saying that the people who did Charlie Hepto had it coming because they should have known better. And to me, that is ridiculous. And the fact that Charlie Hebdo Pete got uh, named Islamophobe and Hater of the Year by the Social Justice Warrior community uh, makes me sick to my stomach. All the Charlie Hebdo people did was draw cartoons that were critical of Islam. And they actually drew cartoons making fun of the Pope, drew cartoons making fun of Baptists, drew cartoons making fun of all religions. You're telling me that the people who drew the picture of the Prophet Muhammad deserve to die? No, they didn't. They didn't. They did not have it coming. They were innocent people who were using free speech. Free speech is very important. It's one of the most important, valuable things that you can have as a member of the free world is free speech. And the fact that someone wants to say, you cannot be critical, you can make fun of Christianity, you can make fun of Catholicism, you can make fun of Judaism, you can do all that stuff. It's fine. But the moment you um, are critical of Islam, you're being a bigot. You're being an Islamophobe. Like Ben Affleck going after Bill Maher and Sam Harris. And even Bill Maher and Sam Harris said, it's not a race, it's a religion. We're being critical of a religion. And they even said, it's not all Muslims. And it's not. There's plenty of good Muslim people. I mean, there's Muslim, you know, where there's large Muslim communities, they do a lot of things a lot of the Christian churches do, which is like feed the homeless, you know, stuff like that. You know, a lot of religious groups do that. But, you know, the Quran is, I'm sorry, but it's homophobic. It's sexist. You know, the fact that a woman has to wear a burqa the fact that a woman has to have a man to accompany her when she goes outside, the fact that any that in many of these Islamic countries they can women cannot drive, the fact that in many of these Islamic countries they do not have the right to choose who they marry, the fact that in many of these Islamic countries these women are these women are attacked and they have to have three was it like three or four male eyewitnesses to you know to have their case heard, the fact that there's a lot of people screaming Allah Akbar when they kill people. That is a big issue in Islam, in the Islamic world, and I'm sorry if that's offensive, but that's that's just my take on it, and I have the right to have my take on it. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Try not to make this video too long, and uh, have a nice day.
had some technical difficulties with the lights. Of course. <laughs> Forgive me for that.